Hey, hi, in this video, we're going to explore more about Amazon Bedrock given foundational model called Amazon Titan Text Generative AI model or basically foundational model. So in this video, we not only explore more about this model, we also experiment it how to consume it with using Python through the APIs, right? So as you see here in the screen, currently I'm in Amazon Bedrock service space of my AWS account and currently I'm in Oregon region. If I click on overview, we see that, you know, there are like lots of foundational models being provided by multiple AI providers. In this video, we are more interested on Amazon provided a model called Amazon Titan text generation, right? So if you go to the Amazon Titan, so basically it's a pool of multiple homegrown foundational model from AWS. So in that one, we're going to explore more about Amazon Titan text generation generative model with a light in the sense this is a model which actually helps us to um, you know generate the text uh, with a very cost effective way right so and this model helps us to do the you know the the jobs including like summarization copywriting right where the customer wants a smaller and more cost effective models that is so highly consumable right so in this case this is the amazon text generate generative model or generally they have named it as Titan text G1 Lite, right? So this is the model which is highly recommended. And the current version of this model is version one. It supports 4K tokens, that is token length, right? And you see the supported formats is for text generation, code generation purpose, rich text formatting purpose, orchestration purpose, and final tuning you know, purpose. These are all the use cases, basically. Yeah? And model attributes, you know, in the sense the model attributes includes fine tuning, text generation, code generation, rich text formatting okay so basically this is very basic information about this foundational model now our main aim is how to consume this amazon text g1 light foundational model over api so in our case we're going to use python programming to invoke the api and try to see you know how we can consume it basically which means that you know we are actually mimicking how to consume this foundational model at your application okay remember that amazon has already trained this foundational model with the already existing data and this model is now ready to consume in your application. And beyond this, beyond the AWS trained data, you want to make this model to be trained with the extra data, you can do that with the additional training as well. So that is also been supported in this model, right? So when we talk about uh, how to consume this over the API, so it has the API request format. In the API request format, you need to give the model ID, content type, accept and body. In the body, it has an input text where actually acting as a prompt. So prompt is nothing but it is a space where you will, you know, ask a questions or where you will ask for the input. Where the input is been given, the foundational model will use that input and generates the output as a text here. And th that's the reason we call these models as a generative AI model of type text generations, right? And then this body also has a text generation config, uh, you know, uh, variable which actually moderate you know moderates the the output of this foundational model that is a maximum token count stuff sequence temperature and the top p as well okay now with this note let's directly jump to the my vs code currently this is my vs code where i have already pre-written a script that is python script to invoke this foundational model from um, amazon bedrock and grown by amazon itself right so here what we do is you here the prerequisite is you need to have boto3 installed in your system and you also need to install the amazon bedrock um, you know the um, uh, basically i have i have explained you like to consume this um, you know the amazon bedrock uh, over the um, yeah so over the python coding you need to have these uh, you know the uh, this boto3 sdk installed in your system and then with using the boto3 clients you can consume this um, you know the endpoints yeah so here in our case you know we are using the boto3 and creating a client of service called bedrock hyphen runtime and we are giving the reason equal to us you know west2 okay so this first line is actually creating a client what is the client in the sense it is a basically uh, uh, you know basically object with using the object you can invoke the the foundational models in the sense you can run the foundational model via an api call that's what it does now here in this case we have a model id so in as I said in our, in our case the model ID is Amazon text hyphen text light which is basically very lightweight and cost effective text generate generative model from Amazon 
um, bedrock and, and grown by the Amazon native Amazon itself. And then it, it actually accepts the application JSON content type. Yeah. And then the body I have already explained you. So in the body, basically, we need to convert this body into a JSON object. And that's the reason we are actually, uh, you know, converting this dictionary into a JSON object with using JSON.dumps. And input has, uh, these are the input. Uh, then we have a text generative, text generation config, which actually moderates the text generation or moderates the output of the, of, of the model. Then the model has the, you know, so basically uh, the, the, the con gener generation config has these uh, controlling parameters. That is maximum token count, stop sequence, then we have a temperature and top P. Yeah. This is very simple format. I'm going to share this script in the in the my GitHub repository. GitHub repository link has been shared in this video's description. You can find this script from there and try to consume it from your side. Now we go to the now we have a client. We have the required body and the required information to invoke the API. Now let's see how we can invoke that. So we have the client here, and from the client, we are invoking a, a function called invoke underscore model this is nothing but you know, this function is already been written in the boto3 sdk right in the bottom basically boto3 sdk is invoking the amazon bedrock foundational model apis and it is helping us to give the you know required response out of the models right now in this one it has a body as a parameter which is passing from you know which is being passed from this one this variable then we have a model id is nothing but we have kept the model id in this variable called model id then we have accept, accept and content, content type. So basically, so, so these are all the parameters are needed to invoke the model, right? Now, once the model has been invoked, it will give a response. So from the response, we need to extract the text. To extract the text, you know, I'm just doing a programmatic tricks, right? So from the response, we are actually getting the body. We are reading the body and converting into a JSON object or basically uh, converting into a dictionary. From the dictionary, we are getting the, uh, basically getting the output text, right? From the text, you know, I'm, again, I'm, we are just formatting the text by removing the certain lines and creating the, you know, the proper content and I'm trying to pay, paste it here, right? All right, so with that information, so this is basically how I constructed this piece of code to invoke the Amazon Bedrock given foundational model. And in this case, we are experimenting Amazon Titan G1 Lite, Amazon, Amazon uh, Titan Text G1 Lite model, okay? So that is very big name. Um, now let's try to uh, experiment this. Okay, so in this case, the first test case that we are experimenting is explain Newton's second law of motion. Okay, I'm just asking this question. Let's see, you know, if this model can answer this question. Okay, so note that before, yeah, here you go. So it is, it is actually responding, saying like Newton's second law of motion states that the force applied to the object equal to the object's mass time to times its acceleration. Okay, indeed, that is answer. Now, before you invoke this one, make sure that you actually set the context of, 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 uh, of your AWS account, okay? To do that, you need to do AWS configure and then try to give the, you know, the access ID key, access uh, secret key, uh, then the region. So give the region where you are actually, you know, have the access to the Amazon Bedrock Foundation models, right? Uh, and then, so these are the prerequisites, basically in the sense you need to set the, um, you know, you need to have the um, uh, context in the sense you need to have the context. Then only, you know, this script will work. Okay. Or else if you're directly running the script from your laptop without this, without this AWS context, it will throw the error saying like, you know, authentication error. Okay. So remember AWS config, doing this AWS config from your system is a prerequisite as well along with the installing the Boto3 model. So once you do a AWS config, basically, you know, the, uh, the required credentials are being set in the AWS credentials and from there this script is consuming it and trying to create a client and we were able to see the response from the models okay now let's ask the last question saying like let's ask this light text light version one to write a, a, a basically letter okay I will say write a letter letter to my boss asking leave for a day right so this is basically you know the, the 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 general use cases that we come across in our life about you know you know writing a, a text right and mean for asking some permissions okay let's see if this can do this job for us in the sense can it write a nice letter so that i can use it to my boss and and get the required permissions for the leave 
so indeed it is it is actually doing and if you see that you know it is really doing very good way you see that it has generated a content of of leave letter and if you can do this copy paste in, in in your email and send the email your boss would be approving the leave yeah all right so basically we have experimented this uh, foundational model with using python in the sense we try to invoke the apis of this foundational model through the python and we were able to achieve the required job here okay all right so with that note thank you very much for watching my uh, video kind request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot with that note thank you thanks a lot and see you in the next video